welcome to third year and congratulations. I'm Tim, I'm an intern at Monash Health this year and I graduated from Monash Uni last year after doing what you guys are doing for five years or more. Uh, so the purpose of this video is to just talk about some of the issues that crop up during third year as your fl first clinical year and to just reassure you in some ways. It, it is a great year, although it is challenging sometimes and you'll get to the end of it and most of you will have really enjoyed it, learnt a lot and had some special experiences. So I hope you enjoy the video and good luck. see you there. So I hear you want to go into third year. Well here's some advice for you. <laughs> some of the challenges about third year, um, I think the early mornings was definitely one which is really gets you at the beginning of the year, especially if you're starting off in a surgery. Um, I think being in a hospital setting for the first time is also quite challenging. It can be a bit scary. Hospitals are surprisingly big places, even the small ones. Um, and also, I guess, just a whole new different type of learning. One of the biggest challenges I encountered in third year was trying to figure out how much we actually had to know um, and trying to sift through all the information that was given to us. Uh, some, some of the lectures we got were quite intense and some, um, some of the information we got on the wards was sometimes not relevant, sometimes too specialised. So it was quite hard to figure out what we actually had to know and what, um, and what was a bit too specialised for us for now. Um, but I found it useful to talk to past students and, um, and ask them, uh, you know, what do you think is relevant, um, what should I actually learn and what should I just have a basic idea about. So that was really good. So I think some of the challenges are interacting with real patients because they're usually in a lot of pain and they are quite uncomfortable. So sometimes um, it can be quite um, awkward to try to ask them for permission to examine them when they're in a lot of pain. So um, try to be tactful around that. So the second thing is trying to learn the ward rounds when everyone's really busy as well. So you might feel that everyone's sort of ignoring you and um, no one, you, you don't really understand what's going on. So I think, yeah, asking, you know, asking them when they have free time to go back um, to like for them to explain to you what has been happening would be very helpful. Also being asked questions by consultants as well because sometimes if you don't know the answer it's quite embarrassing or you might feel a bit confronting. And the last thing is also knowing what's important to learn for exams because there's so much to learn and you can't fully learn everything. So um, try to ask your seniors about what's important for exams. I think that would be very helpful. There are a few challenging things about third year. I think firstly coming up with confronting situations daily on the ward and having to find coping mechanisms to kind of deal with that when there's not necessarily a lot of support. Um, I think being around other doctors and staff members who don't know your curriculum and don't know what you're supposed to learn or what you're supposed to know already that can be really tough. Um, having to be more self-directed in your learning I think is a big one. Um, you know, there aren't really many deadlines academically, so it's easy to let things slide. Um, and also academically, there's a real challenge in learning things at random times. So you can be learning about bowel cancer in lectures and seeing thyroid patients on the ward. And, you know, you can be learning about three or four systems at any one time. So it's really hard to sort of stay focused on one topic. Uh, I think number one is just adjusting to being in the hospital setting. It's a different style of learning and just being a part of everything. Secondly, learning how to make the most of your time and not wasting too much time. And thirdly is making sure you learn all the content. So I'd advise following the structure, do practice exams and attend tutes. Third year can be a, a tough year for a lot of people as obviously your first clinical year. 
there's a huge change in the learning style. It's much more self-directed. You have to be, you have to, you're the only one really making sure that you're on top of things. And you go from being a cohort of three or 400 people with all your friends to spread out all across the place and away from your, a lot of your peers and your friends. One of the things which I found really difficult as well was uh, how foreign everything was at the start. Even really simple things like what is a ward round? I had no idea when, when I started third year and getting a handover sheet with patients' names and billions of acronyms that I had absolutely no idea what they meant. That, that was really difficult for the first couple of months and, and took took a lot of trying to adjust to and even now there's still a lot of things as an intern where I'm just just like oh I didn't know that and you learn something new every day so but it's a fun year specifically remember my first patient but I do remember the feeling beforehand of going over to take a history from someone and just being so worried that they would see through me and know how incompetent I was and that I didn't know anything and that they wouldn't be able to take me seriously. But I think the thing you learn very quickly is that most of the patients are absolutely lovely and they actually really enjoy having someone that can sit down and spend a bit more time with them and get a real history and listen to them and listen to their concerns. And that often patients that have been seen by a medical student feel like they've had a much more thorough care and and experience in hospital than the patients who haven't. So we were only here for a week at Monash Medical Centre. We finally got to talk to our first patient. It was a really exciting and enjoyable and very educational experience. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, we spent about an hour with our first patient, but it, it really taught us a lot. It taught us how little we knew about medicine and how, um, how much our interview techniques needed to be refined. Um, so I had no idea where to find the patient, where to find um, his room. Um, I got lost around the ward. Um, I didn't realize that every patient had two folders, um, their normal folder and their drug chart. Um, I didn't know what anything meant on the drug chart. I didn't know um, any of the acronyms that the doctors used. I didn't know, um, I, didn't, I couldn't even read the doctor's handwriting. Um, it was a really challenging experience. But it was a good experience. I remember my first patient very clearly. Um, it was an older gentleman with a new diagnosis of multiple myeloma, which is a terrible disease. I don't think I really appreciated at the time how bad it was for him. Um, before the interview, I was very, very overprepared. I'd planned it down to the T. I'd read all his notes, seen him on the ward rounds, and psyched up the courage to actually approach him. Um, so I was pretty nervous when I got to the bedside, but. You know, when I got there, he was just so welcoming and generous with his time, as most patients are. And I just had to remind myself that it's just another person who happens to be un unwell and there's no reason to be intimidated by that. Uh, my first patient experience, it's, a bit, it's always a bit scary. Uh, it's your first real patient, not an actor. Um, but I think what you just have to remember is patients are kind of like spiders. Um, they're more scared of you than you are of them. So if you just take it easy... Still, uh, just talk to them like they're real people. I really appreciate that, especially when I have to spend a lot of time in hospital. So uh, don't try and overthink it. Don't work yourself up about it. It's not too big of a deal. And they're normally quite lovely people in the end. This is a constant worry for medical students everywhere. But the reality is, it really doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't make any difference to the end result. What's more important is your approach to learning medicine. A student who involves themselves in the ward activities, who sees as many patients as they can, uh, and is eager to learn, will do well at whatever site they go to. I know it's a constant worry, but I encourage those of you who are worried about the site that you go to, to turn those worries into positive action and make the most of wherever you end up going. Most, wherever you are, irrespective of geographical location, people get sick. And so there are good patients to see and good teachers and doctors wherever you go. Going into 
getting to third year, there's often stigma around this site or that site, which is really silly and just adds a lot of stress. Um, there are good things and bad things about every hospital, but I'd encourage you not to make that judgment until you get there. Um, I was actually at four hospitals um, in third year, which added a lot of perspective. Um, you know, I was in a per peripheral hospital and saw a lot of really common things, and I loved that. And then I had a rotation at a huge tertiary hospital where every patient had the rarest of the rare and everyone had had a kidney transplant. And I really enjoyed that too. So, you know, people are people and patients are interesting everywhere. So just make the most of it and learn something no matter where you are. Everyone was really worried about what the different sites were doing. But at the end of the day, it just barely makes any difference. It's all about you and how much work you put in. Um, I know in my fourth year I went to a rural site that um, was known for having very poor paediatric teaching and so the seven other people that were there with me we were all terrified that we were going to fail fourth year because we weren't going to know any paediatrics and we actually ended up being the best performing sites in pa site in paediatrics in the exam because we were all so terrified that we did so much study that we came out on top so it doesn't make any difference don't worry about it everyone can I worry that other students at different sites would be advantaged just by virtue of being at those sites. Like I thought um, everyone at Rural would already be doctors by now because of all the practical experience they were getting and, um, and everyone at uh, Eastern would be amazing at pathology because it would be a great teaching of pathology there, um, etc. But um, I think as long as you, every hospital has their own advantages and disadvantages and as long as you make the most of it and as long as you're engaged in, um, in the teaching and in the programs they have, um, it should always be medicine and wherever there's patients you'll be able to learn um, your medical knowledge and the other thing is that um, there are also books that can help you as well if you're really worried about the discrepancy or um, you can have a study group with um, people from different sites and then you guys can share your notes as well so that may be really helpful